Complete reports, and this is the last chapter of our books. And we are at the end of the audit process, uh, the last part, last stage. We completed the, our audit process. Now we will gonna write the reports as the auditor. So let's see how we are going to write it about it. So let's see how we are going to write an audit report. In this chapter, we are going to talk about it, forming an option and reporting on financial statements, content of the auditor's report when the opinion is modified, illustrative examples of auditor's reports that I, I will give, completing the audit and the deficiency of the auditors. So in objective of the auditor, to form an opinion of the financial statements based on an evaluation of the conclusions drawn from the audit evidence obtained and to express clearly that opinion through a written report. This is the output of the audit process. So the auditor forms an opinion on whether the financial statements are prepared in all materials respects in accordance with the applicable financial reporting framework. These are the, uh, the forms of an opinion. In order to form an opinion, the auditor concludes that he or she has obtained reasonable assurance about the financial statements as a whole are free from material misstatements due to fraud or error. The auditor evaluates whether the financial statements are prepared in all material respects in accordance with the requirements of the applicable financial reporting framework. There are four types of the audit reports. One is unqualified, qualified, adverse, and disclaimer of the opinion. The auditor expresses an unqualified opinion when having obtaining sufficient appropriate audit evidence, misstatements individually or in the aggregated, misstatements individually or in the aggregate are not material and not persuasive to the financial statements. Auditor express a qualified opinion having obtained sufficient appropriate audit evidence Misstatements individually or in the aggregate are material but not persuasive to the financial statements or inability to sub or inability to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence, but the auditor concludes that the possible effects of undetected misstatements could be material but not persuasive. Auditor express an the auditor express an adverse opinion when having obtained sufficient appropriate audit evidence, misstatements individually or in the aggregate are material and persuasive to the financial statements. Determining the type of the modification of the auditor's opinion. Let's see, this is a very good uh, table that we can understand easily. The reason why auditor modifies the opinion auditors reports. There is a two items, material but not persuasive, material and persuasive. Ability to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence and the effect of misstatements on the financial statements are, we can uh, write as an auditor qualified opinion if material but not persuasive. If it's a material and persuasive, I can write an adverse opinion. On the second uh, condition, on the second situation, inability to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence and possible effects of undetected misstatements on the financial statements could be if the material but not persuasive, I can write qualified opinion. If it's a material and persuasive, I can write disclaimer opinion. The third case, 
Ability to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence indicating that effects of uncertainty related to going concern. Materiality but not persuasive, I can write qualified opinion. If material and persuasive, I can write adverse opinion. Notwithstanding having obtained sufficient appropriate audit evidence regarding multiple uncertainties, if it is not possible to form an auditor's opinion due to the uncertainties and their possible effect on the financial statements, I can write as an auditor disclaimer opinion in both cases. So this table is really helpful to understand under which situation then which type of the auditor's opinion they can write it as a auditor is really easy to it is really helpful to understand the uh, all these uh, issue so material uncertainty related to going concern and auditor's opinion material uncertainty related to going concern and auditor's opinion use of the going concern basis of accounting there are four issue four option that we can evaluate it there are four option that we can evaluate it uh, then we can decide it which type of the opinion we will mention it in our auditor report when obtaining sufficient appropriate audit evidence on the appropriateness of the management's use of the going concern basis of accounting a material uncertainty exists and disclosure is adequate which is unmodified opinion a material uncertainty exists and disclosure is inadequate is qualified opinion a material uncertainty exists and required disclosure omitted adverse opinion multiple uncertainties that are significant as a whole exist disclaimer opinion management use of the going concern basis of accounting in the financial statements is inappropriate a material uncertainty exists and disclosure is adequate which is adverse opinion a materiality uncertainty exists and disclosure is inadequate adverse opinion a material uncertainty exists and required disclosure omitted adverse opinion multiple uncertainties that are significant as a whole exist adverse opinion which means in the second option about the going concern basis of the accounting all three uh, options uh, brings to auditor adverse opinion in the audit report so what is the content of the auditor's opinion of course we need to obey the content we cannot write the report just uh, right away we have to apply the uh, international standards of auditing which is 700 first of all the opinion basis basis for independent auditor's opinion and material to uncertainty related to going concern key audit matters responsibilities of management and those charged with governance for the financial statements auditors responsibilities for the audit of the financial statements signatures date and addresses you can see here this content of the auditor's opinion change in 2016 why because creditors and investors become more important for the audit, uh, for the uh, auditors because investors and creditors wants auditors reports more helpful for them when they make a decision more clear they want to see more clear reports so they change the ifec change the auditors reports content and uh, with these contents it starts opinion after that basis for the opinion why this opinion we reach then if there is some uh, conditions some doubt about that some situation about the going concern uh, you have to mention it 
in the audit reports. Key audit methods, methods that you have to mention it in your audit reports. After that, the responsibilities of the management. Uh, so, and those charged with governance for the financial statements, the client company, client firm management's responsibilities. After that, what is the auditor's responsibilities for the audit of the financial statements that these are must be uh, writing write it down and then signatures of the auditors date and addresses this is the new style of the uh, auditors opinion content so deficiencies of the auditor uh, in that part due to the third general standard of the general accepted auditing standards it say due professional care is to be exercised in the planning and performance of the audit and the preparation of the reports these deficiencies of the auditors come from the general accepted audited standards therefore is from the general standards as you remember that and it's uh, shaping the auditors so this is comes from the general standard and this is the third one do professional care in the audit reports so uh, do professional care what does it mean do professional care is a very important issue especially do professional care is dealing with also quality control uh, standards what does it mean? It means do professional care requires the auditor to exercise the professional skepticism. Professional skepticism is an attitude that includes a questioning mind and a critical assessment of audit evidences. Standards go on to state that an auditor should neither assume that management is dishonest or assume unquestioned honesty. So this is the do professional care explanation which comes with the professional skepticism which i mentioned it in chapter two uh, professional skepticism and professional judgment these are the most important two concepts which is uh, exist and uh, in audit practices also do professional care is gathering and objectively evaluating audit evidence requires the auditor to consider the competency and sufficiency of the evidence since the evidence is gathered and evaluated throughout the audit professional skepticism should be exercised throughout the audit process so this is also do professional care uh, explanation uh, topics so this is uh, an example of the deficiencies of the auditor in expressing audit opinion. For example, the case of Sunbeam, this is the company, from the last quarter of 1996 until June 1998, Sunbeam Corporation senior management created the illusion of a successful restructuring of Sunbeam in order to inflate its stock price and thus improve its value as an acquisition target. To this end, management employed num numerous improper. To this end, management employed numerous improper earnings management techniques to falsify the company's results and conceal its deteriorating financial condition. So this is also an example of uh, Sunbeam, and it continue in the case of the sum v, v what happened this specifically senior management create 35 million in improper restructuring reserves as part of a year and 1996 restructuring which were reserved into income the following year also 1997 some management engaged in granted sales improper bill and hold sales and other fraudulent practices at the year end 1997 at least 62 million of some beams reported income of 189 million come from the accounting fraud this reporting secured the exchange commission in 2001 d so the sunbeam the company auditors issue an unqualified opinion 
of course with i mean there are so many accounting fraud in the company and the same year the auditors issued an unqualified opinion just think about that with respect to company's financial statement for its 1997 fiscal year during the 1997 year and audit the auditors identify certain charges as improper the auditor nevertheless advised some beams audit committee as they had with respect to their 1996 proposed adjustments that the 1997 proposed adjustments were not material in amount which is mentioned in security exchange commission 2001 so deficiency of auditor in the case of the summary there are two three of them lack of to do professional care and professional skepticism in controls relevant to reserve and income ignoring some problem transactions violation of the federal securities law statements of audit standards 99 and the general accepting auditing standards is a violation by the auditors and this is the a case one case uh, example for the deficiencies of the auditors so uh, of course we finished the chapter but uh, you can easily see that how the deficiencies can be exist in an audit work by the auditors this is the end of the chapter 8 uh, I recommend you please uh, read the chapter from the books and try to understand more about the auditor opinions because the chapters give more detail to you.